the true sign of someone who's gonna keep their Octa track forever is they do this. Yep, it's off. Goodbye. Beautiful. Welcome to Red Means Recording. No, <laughs> I'm just playing. Welcome to the Hype Beast Dad channel where we um, talk about gear and um, nerd shit. So today I'm going to talk about some nerd shit, how I'm using my Octatrack and SP404 together. So, like, let's say, let's get out of here real quick. I'm just playing this. Nothing's happening. But if I hit my external source button and then I play it oh. go to the end then something happens also I can affect I can affect that source it's pretty cool so the way I got that going is I'm using the cues and um, you basically hit the cue like right now they're not on so I hit these cues and that mute them from the main mix and then send them to the Q mix. And then that cue out is going into the SP404. And then after that, um, it's going into the end of the SP404 and then from the out of the SP404 back into the input A, B of the Octa track. The Octa track definitely is hard. To kind of wrap your head around at first but after you kind of get it a little bit it will be easier if you want that hip-hop shit you have to go into um the project and then into personalize and then turn off quantize live recording unfortunately i did not know that until now i've had this for like five days six days so not too long so that's cool i learned something new um, and then for the Q, you need the Q mutes track. If you have the Q mutes track, it's going to mute it in that main and then send it out into the Q out, which will be able to go into your SP404 or any other effect of your choice. That's the cool thing. You can put it into a different effect. It doesn't just have to be the SP404. All right. So hopefully that helped you out a little bit. Um, if you guys want to help me on how to get all the effects, I basically want all like SP404 type effects on here so that I have them in scenes. I'm still learning how to really use scenes. I haven't really wrapped my mind around that. I'm still coming from an NPC head. So it's a little more simpler um, workstation and easier to get around. But um, after you kind of understand this one a little bit, it, it's it's not that bad, guys. So if you've been thinking to get the Octa track, I think you should, um, just because it's hella old now, and it's still fun. Even if it's an old machine, it's still fun, and it still has a lot of capabilities. And um, I'm pretty sure the NPCs have um, just as many, or if not more. But it's just having different workflows are are cool. And sometimes you get bored with um, different devices. And um, yeah. Another thing that I've noticed lately is I've been finding um, old cameras that I had and, and that's I'm actually using one right now. I'm using the Canon 70D that I've had just sitting for years because um, it has some battery issues and I just like touched the uh, battery thing in, on the inside. I touched the inside and then um, it literally started working. And I looked online and I was like, damn, when I had this camera back in the day, like super, super long ago, they didn't have all of these uh, videos to talk about some of the problems. But yeah, use old equipment, man. Um, I know I got this Octatrack recently, but yeah, use some old stuff.